Why is this the best single product page for most people? It's built with only free plugins, all the necessary features, takes only 10 minutes to create. Even if you're a non-technical person, this tutorial is very easy to follow. My name is Rohu Julian Francis. Welcome to our channel and let's begin. I'll show you how to build a custom product page like this and we will use three plugins, all of which are free. The first is Elementor because then we can use drag and drop like this to edit our page. The second is Shop Engine because it will give us a lot of free templates and widgets. And the third is Airlift, which will make sure that your page doesn't load slowly like this. Instead, it loads quickly and gives visitors a good experience. So let's go to our WordPress dashboard, then go to plugins, then add new. And in this search bar, type Elementor, then click install and activate. Then search for Shop Engine, then install it and activate it. Now, before we begin creating our custom product page, we need to do two things. First, let's go to the left navigation panel, find Shop Engine, hover over it, and select Widgets. Now, enable all the free ones, then go up and click Save Changes. Now, we need one more free plugin, so open a new tab and click airlift.net. Now, Airlift is a free speed plugin that makes sure our site doesn't slow down. We built this plugin ourselves and are sharing this for free with our community. It's super simple. Let's just go to sign up, then add your website URL and download the plugin. Then in WordPress, just click on add new, drag and drop the plugin, install and activate it. And your site will automatically get all the speed optimizations it needs and you should see a 90 plus score like this. Airlift also makes sure that your site stays fast as you keep adding more things to it. So it's a good long-term tool to have. All right, so now that everything is ready, let's come back to our dashboard, hover the cursor over Shop Engine, and then click Builder Templates. It's gonna take us to this page. So click the Add New button here on top, and it opens this pop-up from the right. So I'll go ahead and name it. Now below here, you can also see some pre-made templates that are pretty good to save time, and you can use one, but you still need to edit it. So if you want to save time, you can select a template here, then follow the next steps that I'm going to cover. So I'll select a blank page because this way I can give you a better idea of the widgets available and how you can customize your pages. Next, I'll toggle this activate button to switch it on, then save it using this button. Now the pop-up closes and we can see the template we just created listed on our page and it's active. So on it, I'll click edit with Elementor and it gives me another pop-up and asks me to pick a product. So I'm going to pick this one. But don't worry, even though I'm selecting just one product here, this template will apply to all the products on my website. So now I'm on a blank page on Elementor where I need to build my template. So let me click this plus icon and add a row container. Now the first thing I'll put here is a notice widget so my customers can be alerted when they add something to the cart. So I'll use the sidebar and search for the notice widget. Then I'll select and drag it into the box. Then I'll adjust the width like this or use the width slider here. Uh, next, we need a product here. Product pages generally have a left-right split layout. So I'll click the plus icon and add a new container. Then select the split into layout. Now I can also adjust the boxes by dragging the edges like this. Okay, now it's time to add widgets to the section I've just made. So I'll first add my product image to the left container. Now in the left sidebar, I'll select product images and drag it to the left box. Now I can use the options in the sidebar to edit the photo. Also, if you're liking this tutorial, please give us a like below on this video so that this video doesn't get killed by the algorithm because I cry when that happens and no one wants to see that. But that's a different story. The summary here is go hit like if you're still watching. So in the main image, there's a space for an icon on the top right. And I can change that by going back to the content tab and under the product light box, select the icon. So it opens this pop-up with several icons to choose from. I'll search for and select the magnifying glass. Okay, now click insert on the bottom right. And to edit the icon, I'll switch the style tab in the sidebar and scroll down to the light box zoom icon. Now I'll make the icon a little bit bigger uh, like this. And then there's also the option to change the color. So mm, let me change the background to black and then the icon to white. So I'll add the title here to the right part of the container. Now from the left sidebar, I'll select the product title widget and drag it into the right box. Now use the options in the sidebar and let's make a minor adjustment. 
uh, I can change color. I can change the font by clicking typography under the title color. And then use this drop down and search for the font you want. I'll also use a slider below that to modify the font size. So I'll also scroll down to line height and use this to manage the spaces between the lines. I can also adjust the word spacing and letter spacing using these sliders. And now let's add important widgets here. So let's start with the product category widget. I'll put it above the title. So let me drag it here. Now the category shows coffee, but the coffee link is a little gray. So I can modify it. Now let's add star ratings using the ratings widget. So I'll search for it and then drag it below my title. Go to style tab, increase the star size. And I can also change the color of the stars like this. Also need to align them. So let's go to the advanced tab. Let's modify this. Now I'll change the reviews text link color like this. Next I'll add the product price widget. So search for it, then drag it. Now it shows the sale price smaller than the actual price. So I can change that like this if I want. Now I'll go to sale price section and under typography increase its size like this. Also I can adjust this spacing by going to the advanced tab and increasing the top margin. Next, let's add the description so that the customer has more information. So I'll go to the sidebar and then drag the product description widget here. Then like before, I'll use the style tab and adjustment font size and line spacing like I did before and it's done. Okay, now I'll add the add to cart option here. So let me drag this widget below. And in my sidebar, I can use the toggle to show the stock status here. So let's switch it on. There are also other toggle buttons to switch off the wish list, compare buttons and more things. So you can pick whichever ones you want. Now let's customize the widget. Under quantity settings, I'll use the drop down to make the buttons on the right. Now it adds these icons, select the plus icon. And now we'll have different icons here. Now let's type up then select the one I want, insert it. I'll do the same thing with the minus icon. Uh, let's select a down arrow, insert it. Now let's edit the style by switching to the style tab at the sidebar. So here the first option is to edit the stock status. You can change the font and color similar to how we did with the title. So I'll go to the next section. And once more, you can change the font and typography. Now I'll make the font bigger and adjust the line height. Next, I think the button are a bit too closely packed, so let's space them out. I'll scroll down to the last option, which is margin, and increase the box that says left. I'll do the same thing for the right, and I'll do the same thing for the wish list and compare button. We're nearly done here. Now let's add a section for related products. I'll add a new container here, and then find the related products widget and drag it here. Now there's no title here, so let's go to the sidebar and drag the title widget. Now I'll name it and type the text I want like this. Go to style tab and under typography, increase its size. So click here and let's make a minor adjustment. Let's modify this. Things are looking good, right? Now I think the product reviews would look great here. So let's add them. So first I'll add a new container by scrolling down, clicking this plus icon. Then I'll select row. Now I'll find the reviews widget in the sidebar and drag it into this box. Now on our preview page, it shows me the dummy reviews, but don't worry, the actual product page website will have the real reviews as we'll see. Now let's also space it out by increasing the margin on top and we're pretty much done. You can also check out the other widgets here if you need them like the SKU, product tags, there's a whole bunch of them. Now, all that's left to do is hit update here. Great, our product page is live now. So let's go back to our website, refresh this page. There you go, my custom template has been applied and you can see the real reviews. All right, one bonus tip is to add a feature where your customers can check the delivery availability by using their pin code. For this, we'll have to use a shipping service and the best one I found was ShipRocket. Now to set up ShipRocket, let's go to the website click on try for free 
and then complete the sign up process. I'm just gonna speed this up. All right, now our account has been created and we need to connect this to our website. So let's click on connect my store and these are the available options. I'll select WooCommerce for now, but even if you select any other option, don't worry, the steps are quite similar. So click here and enter our website URL. Now, before we click connect here, we have to enable the legacy API on our website. So let's come back to WordPress, go to WooCommerce, then click on settings, click on advanced, and then click on the legacy API here. Now enable this legacy REST API option and click on save changes. So let's go back to Shiprocket and click connect to WooCommerce. Then select approve and let's enter my company's name here. You can also add a logo for your store here and scroll down, I'll save changes like this. So let's go back to our dashboard, select plugins, choose add new plugin and search for Shiprocket. Now once we see the plugin, click on install now and activate. Now here, select settings and enable real-time rates option. Now fill in the email ID and phone number that you used to create your Shiprocket account and click the sign up button. Now, as you can see, our Shiprocket account is connected. Now click OK and then click on save changes. Now we'll go to this option called shipping settings and here enable the debug mode, then save changes. Now in this way, the check pin code feature has been successfully added to your website. So let's go back to our site and test everything out. And now we can add a pin code and get the exact delivery date of our product. Pretty cool. Also in this three minute video, I'll show you our new free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this later. So click here and I'll see you there.